Hi, I'm Cy Taylor. And I'm Karen Taylor. And in this video, we're going to be showing you a little bit about these lures. They're called blades. Blade, otherwise known as the vibration bait, has become a popular lure in recent times for catching a variety of Australian fish species. Looking at these lures closely, you'll see that they have a very skinny design, very similar in thickness to a kitchen knife without the sharp edge. With the toe point located on top of the lure, this means they're built for one thing, vibration. And if you've used one of these lures, you'll know that if you pulse this through the water, you can really feel that vibration all the way up your rod. It's, it's so strong and I guess that's what attracts all the fish. They're considered to be a fairly medium to deep water lure because of the fact that they sink so fast. And I guess some of the best places to use them are right down deep amongst jetty pylons or right down the bottom of, of rock walls or if you're, if you're targeting pelagics or reef fish, you can, you can cast it out and let it sink all the way down the, a steep reef edge or right down the face of a bommie where there's big coral trout or emperor hanging out. These, these are the perfect lures for that situation. The most basic retrieve would have to be the two hot paws retrieve. This is a really simple style of retrieve but a lot of really good anglers use it to catch a range of different fish and I'll show it to you just now. Simply cast the lure out and depending on where you're fishing you can let it sink down and to start this retrieve the first step is to basically pulse the rod twice just in a, a short sharp motion so it's like one two and then all you do is let the lure sink a little bit let it flutter down and then do it again. Let the lure sink and pulse it twice. So if you see what the lure is doing underwater, it's giving quick darty motions up, up in the water column. So it's really exciting those fish and making them want to come and see what all that vibration and sound is going through the water. If you mix up your retrieve, try a range of different motions with your lure, you'll generally find that you're going to catch a lot more fish. Another great technique to use in the tropics is to troll these lures behind the boat. These big blades especially are great for trolling because they swim really straight, they track really true, they don't swim out to the left or the right and they don't get caught in the other lures that you might have in your spread and they just track fish in from a large distance because of the large vibration. A great lure for trolling in the tropics. You can take these lures right into the estuaries as well. Probably the best places to use these lures in the tropical estuaries and rivers is generally in those places where you usually find those bigger fish have a sounder, a depth sounder to start with and try and find any little uh, drop-offs or little rises in the river, any little deep rock bars, um, some bait fish hanging around the area. A lot of estuary fish hang around those types of spots and they're, they're often overlooked because people with, without sounders often uh, miss those areas because you can't see them. 
they're the perfect situation for fishing a blade because you can get that blade right down deep and you can hop it over the, the cover or the structure. It pays to fish all around those areas, just keep peppering them with casts. Eventually you're gonna come up tight with a big tropical estuary fish. Well, we hope that you've learned a lot about blades in this short video. They're definitely a, a really interesting lure to try. Uh, they've got a lot of potential uh, on a lot of different species in the tropics. Uh, so next time you're fishing in salt water, definitely give them a try. Good luck. And tight lines. Tight lines. You snagged up to a rock? Uh, no, I'm hooked up to a fish. Oh. <laughs>